to start it, this is the key. It's, it's right under there. You put it in there and you have to wind it up. I think it takes 33 turns. 34. 34, 34 turns to get it all the way wound up. And then you can press the start button and it'll get going for you. Put some oil sand in the baggie. Yes, I filmed. I'm taking it out. <laughs> I am so stoked to see this. This might be the prettiest job site I've ever been to. It's hard to forget where you parked. I have never seen anything like this. I haven't. Hello and welcome back to the Buildwood Vlog. Today is a very, very, very exciting day because we are still in Alberta. We are still around the oil sands and today we're visiting Finning Cat. One of the world's biggest, if not the world's biggest cat dealer. They're on multiple continents. They're an absolute behemoth and they support all of the mines at the oil sands. So we saw some equipment working out in the mine, but Finning is the company that makes those things go round so today we're, we're visiting the Mackay facility where they build new 797s and rebuild 797s. Really exciting day. Let's dig in. Behind me is a 797B getting rebuilt entirely it has about 80,000 hours on it. After this full rebuild, it'll be ready for another 80,000 hours. Yeah, so this has been running for around 20 years. And after finning is done with it, they come through, replace everything on the machine, strip it all the way down. So it's essentially a brand new machine. And it'll be ready for, in theory, another 20 years of hauling oil sand at one of the mines here in Fort Mackay. So since Finning is a, essentially a global dealer, this machine, as he just explained, is from Chile. It was a parts machine. They disassembled it down here, shipped it up to Canada. They're giving it a full rebuild, so this will essentially be a brand new truck when they're done with it, and then they'll sell it to one of the oil sands mines up here. A second life. So down at the end is a, is a completed, nearly completed 797 rebuild B model. This is what it looks like when they're just beginning the process. So they strip it completely down to the bare frame, repaint the frame, and then now this is the beginning platform for the rebuild. So in three months, this will look like that and we'll be ready for hauling again. 12 weeks, that's not very long. You know it's a big truck when you need a man lift to just get up to the frame. That's just the frame of the machine. So this is your 797B, the truck that we just saw in the shop. This is the power plant, about 3,000 horsepower. So behind me is the grill for the Caterpillar 797F haul truck. Now behind this grill, is the Caterpillar 797F haul truck. For scale, and an Aaron, I'm a small human being, but a human nonetheless, and here's your truck. Ultra class haul truck, 400 tons. There's an overwhelming amount of fun stuff here. And they even have a skid steer. So behind me is a Caterpillar 262D skid steer. 
What is the skidster doing here, you ask? Well, that's the wash bay right behind me, and that is to clean out the mud and sand from within the wash bay. Because that's how much mud and sand there is on these trucks. That's how big the machines that they're washing in there are. A lot of people ask on these why they run a GPS antenna. For this machine, it could be autonomous. This one isn't. It's most likely for location. So the dispatch, the command center of the mine can know exactly where this unit is at all times. Can determine load count, speed, braking, and then can determine where it needs to go to whatever shovel is available. In cold environments, they run the exhaust instead of out the side, they'll run it through the dump body. The dump body, there's a cavity within that body it'll run that warm exhaust through the body and it'll come out the back, the very bottom of the tray, and that keeps the dump body warm so that the, the oil sand, it, whatever material's in there, doesn't stick to that tray causing carryback when it comes back from the crusher to the shovel, which is really expensive. You wanna get all of that material out of that, that, that body, so that's what keeps it from sticking. This is, it's essentially a purpose-built purpose, purpose built dozer to work in soft, sandy conditions that potentially could get sunk. It's called a swamp donkey. They have the cooling package up on the roof. Everything vital is higher up, and then there's a little bit of a hatch, or there is a hatch on the top of the cab. So if the machine gets sunk up to the cab, the operator can still get out. They'll typically replace tracks under carriages every six months, twice a year, because the sand is so abrasive, you'd think it would be good because it has oil in it. Everybody's like, oh, it's lubricated. No, no, no. It destroys the machines and undercarriages. And These 797Fs, they come in seven truckloads, not including the tires. And they're brought here from the United States. Once they get to this yard, these boys go to work and building them is a process requiring 43 days of time, <laughs> multiple technicians and a crane. We saw a finished 797F over there. This is a 797F in the middle of the build process, brand new. They come out of Illinois, built by Caterpillar in the United States, are shipped up here, and this is where they are assembled in the yard before they're shipped to the mine site. They're assembled here because there's a little bit more room. Finning shop is right there. And then once they're tested, ready to go, they ship them in one piece. They don't break them down again to the mine site, which is where it'll go for about 100,000 hours, 80 to 100,000 hours before it's pulled back to here and potentially 20 years to get rebuilt again. Custom bumper built in-house by Finning just for the oil sands. It allows the truck to get towed. There's a tow point, so another truck can come in and pick it up if necessary, and then they beef it up because the ground gets so soft this time of year in the summer that the, the ruts will be up to here. So there'll be dirt on the front bumper pretty regularly this time of year because the ground is that soft.
<clears throat> oh yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. We're in the cab of a brand new 797F. As you'll notice, you have your forward, neutral, reverse, your dump lever, you have your two pedals, your red pedal, emergency stop, adjust your steering wheel. I don't wanna mess with it. And then the most important feature, your cup holder right here. I will say it's the cup holder is a little small, so you're not gonna get a big drink in here, but for a soda or something, it's good to go. 797F cab review. I would say it's pretty nice. We have our backup camera right here, a reading light, no battery in here yet. Beautiful Bluetooth radio, cup holder, controls right here, controls right here, climate control, pretty comfy seat. I mean, really nice seat. This might even be a heated seat. Oh yeah, it's heated and cooled. <laughs> yeah, so review is in, 797F cab, quite nice. This is a, looks like a 789, so smaller truck. And they have certain benchmarks, so at something like 16,000 hours, instead of waiting for the machine to break, they'll replace the engine entirely. So up front here is the replacement engine. In the back there is obviously the used engine. So they just pulled that out. This one's getting ready to go in there today. And then this truck will be back in operation for the next 10, 15, 16,000 hours, whatever it is. So in mining, uptime is everything. They can't afford for things to go down. So everything is preventative, including swapping entire engines. So that one, once they're done, that one's in there. That one will go to get rebuilt, will become a new engine. And then that one will go into the next truck. Been working hard today. Decided to take a break. So this is the Caterpillar 798 AC. This is an electric drive truck, so there's no transmission. The, there's an engine, it's a smaller engine than the 797 that converts power, basically a generator, to electric drive that powers the machine. This truck in particular, there were two that were made in Wyoming, or that were made, that were sent to Wyoming. I've actually seen both of those trucks at Black Thunder. These were the second two. So this is one of the second pair that Caterpillar produced and put out into the real world to test a few years ago. Funny enough, I actually saw this truck get released in Arizona at Caterpillar's press event. Super cool, full circle. Here's one that's been working in the oil sands for a while. It's now, this was a test, test machine, but now it's a production uh, truck. So they've sold a bunch around the world. But this one is already quite a few years old. This is Caterpillar's biggest truck. It doesn't have mud flaps. It actually has mud curtains. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, we're all done today with Finning. Thank you so much, Finning, for having us out. It was one heck of a treat. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. And if you want to sue me over that phrase, sue me over that phrase. Thanks for tuning in to the Build With Vlog again. Stay dirty, everybody.